Hi and welcome back to the channel. I know quite a few of you have been looking forward to this video. It's the outlook for the UK for the next three months, December, January and February, using the Japanese JMA model. I must say, keep watching to the very end because I want to briefly talk about something what might throw this totally in the bin. The polar vortex and the warming that's taking place at the moment. But I'll have a quick chat about that at the end of this video. So let's do this. I have to say with the three months outlook which is a long range we have to take it with a very very large pinch of salt and I do have the right for this to change and to be wrong but this is what I believe from the JMA what they're saying at the moment. Right, we're looking at the month of December. I've put these images together for you. I apologise if you can't quite see them. I have tried to enlarge them, but it's still small where the UK is on the images. So the UK is under high pressure during the month of December. It's bringing rainfall around average We've got a northerly air uh, flow, so it's going to be uh, pretty chilly and cold at times. And it's showing temperatures are around average for December. January, high pressure is still over the UK. This is going to bring a slightly above average rainfall. And we've got a northeasterly air flow. So it's going to be a very chilly month quite cold at times. Some of that rainfall could be wintry with snow I would say due to that uh, colder airflow from the northeast. Moving forward to February, low pressure is in the Atlantic and over Ireland with high pressure over parts of the UK and over Europe. This is going to bring quite a unsettled month with above average rainfall. We've got a wind direction coming from a southwesterly with the low pressure being in that location and it's going to bring a fairly mild month with temperatures a couple of degrees above average. Well that's what it looks like at the moment and we say with a long range weather forecast we have to take it with a very very large pinch of salt. I do hope you found that interesting from the Japanese at least. It's bringing a average winter, isn't it? A bit warmer in February. But I did say I want you to keep watching to the very end because I want to talk about the polar vortex and the warming that's taking place. A couple of weeks ago, my second winter forecast, I did mention that there was a warming taking place on the polar vortex. It's very unusual for it to take place in November. Later in the year, in the later in the winter, yes, but not in November. But we have to remember, this only brings an increased risk of wintry weather to the UK. One in four polar vortex brings a harsh wintry conditions into the UK but the other three doesn't so we have to watch it very carefully there's a lot going off I will bring more information on that when I can know a bit more to tell you anyway if you've enjoyed this video do give me a great big thumbs up dong the bells and all that and subscribe if you haven't and do leave that comment below till we meet again look after yourselves and those you love BFN bye for now